What is going on today guys? Tomcat here and today we are playing Dirt Rally. Now we're going to be trying out the uh, Rally Cross mode, excuse me, and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be giving it a shot and we're going to be seeing how, um, how we actually do getting back into the game after a long, long while of not playing it. And uh, this is actually my second try to record this game today because I tried recording it earlier and I was like, yeah, yeah, you know, good recording. And then I went to stop the recording and everything crashed. The game, the recording software, everything just basically imploded on itself. So hopefully it won't do that this time. If you guys are seeing this right now, then that means it, obviously that means it didn't. But we're going to go ahead and go straight into custom event and start a rally cross. I'm going to do it at Lytton Hill, and we're going to be doing a full event. So, uh, heat laps, semi-final laps, um, or sorry, heat, semi-finals, and then, uh, a full final. We're going to be running the difficulty on... Hard? Why not? <laughs> I'm thinking, why not, on the whole hard difficulty thing. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, oh dear. Full circuit, yeah. Full, full circuit is much, 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 much better. Full circuit, uh, rather than, the, I don't know why, I don't know why it was set on the junior circuit. But anyway, go ahead and get straight into it. We're going to be using the, mm, I've looked through these cars already, and I'm definitely a huge fan of the Ford Fiesta Rallycross. I'm thinking I kind of want to go with either the EBC Brakes livery, or the Kicker livery. And I actually really like the Kicker livery, so I'm going to go ahead and go with that. And what I'm curious to see, what I'm curious to see is how the guys in hard difficulty versus normal difficulty take their joker laps because I prefer to take the joker lap on either my first or second lap just so I can get it out of the way and you know these guys that don't take it and leave it till the end of the race generally end up losing one or two places because they left it so we'll see how it goes oh god it's raining oh dear this is not good this is not good at all Although it could make for some entertaining, entertaining slidey stuff. Decent lineup of rally cars today. All right, let's see how it's get. Let's see how it's get going and go. So up to the gears, so freaking fast. So slidey in the rain. So freaking slidey. They may have passed us, but it's okay because we jokered. We jokered, so we're all right. The rain really makes a big difference as to how slick the track is, though. You really have to be on top of your game. You cannot let your guard down in the rain, and because if that happens, bad things happen if you let your guard down in the rain. Bad things generally always happen. That was probably too much angle. That was angled to the point where it was pretty ineffective, actually. Nobody has taken the Joker yet, except for me. That's that's great, actually, because we're slowly catching them back up. These guys are going to have to take their Jokers late in the race. God, that is so good for us. That puts us in such a good position. God, we, okay, I need to stop screwing that corner up. That corner sucks. I hate that corner now. Keep it tidy. Keep it tidy. There we go. They're all three taking their joker lap at the same time. This works out wonderfully. Hello, fellow Fiesta. Fancy meeting you here. And now you know, or now they know, why I take my Joker the first lap out. Because first place is now ours, ladies and gentlemen. Let's, uh oh, let's not lose that. Love the little pops and crackles and backfires these cars make. It's so brilliant, like it's such a sweet little sound. Angry little turbocharged four cylinders. I love angry turbocharged four-cylinders. I mean, V8s are obviously, you know, V8s, V10s, V12s, they're all absolutely lovely, and they're so cool, and a lot of them are great to listen to, but four-cylinders, especially big turbo four-cylinders, you know, rally four-cylinders, they're mean, evil little creatures.
We just hit the top of fifth gear. Oh, crap. We are j literally, like, just hitting the red line in, in sixth gear. Right on that, on that straightaway. Not too bad at all. We pretty much did not get any damage that time around. I think we got, a, like, maybe a, a couple of nicks here and there. But it wasn't that bad at all. Uh, let's see. Yes, I do want to see what I damaged then. Wheels, okay. Let's go ahead and fix those right up. And start the race. Come to think of it, I probably should have saved that for later, just in case I mess up my gearbox or something, but it's alright. Hitting the Joker. Well, the car behind is taking the Joker oh, shoot. Now. Let me just pass this guy real quick. That's a slight threat to us, actually, because he was smart. He was smart enough to take the Joker early on, like we did. You gotta break for that corner a lot earlier than you think. That's what I've been learning, or that's what I learned from that last heat, is that if you don't take that thing, uh, if you don't, sorry, if you don't break for that corner really early on, you're, well, screwed, pretty much. You're going off, off the track. All right, we got one guy taking the Joker, which is good. Move up a place. Putting power down nicely. Loving the setup on this Fiesta right now. Super effective. My po Dave is a Pokemon are coming out. Come to think of it, the paint job on this freaking thing does, does look like a Pokemon. And honestly, even though I don't remember a ton about, oh crap. Please don't tell me that they're going to be like, Oh, you cut a corner. Because the stewards will do that. They will say, Oh, you cut a corner. We're going to investigate you. But, um... Either way, no. It's funny because even though it's like this livery is just all of a sudden making making me remember my days of Pokemon before... Long before I was, I was ever into YouTube, I was actually like... I played a lot of Pokemon games. And now I, I have a really hard time remembering what... Like, you know, what any kind of, like, my favorite Pokemon w was or anything like that. But I just remember that I had a lot of them, and it was... I mean, they were fun. They were fun games that, like, that you could just get lost in for hours. I do remember having a lot of Fire-type Pokemon. I remember having a lot of Fire-types and a lot of... Oh, gosh. I think Electric-type Pokemon, I think, I want to say. Oh, crap. Oh, that's going to count as a cut. No, it's not. Okay. I'm surprised and impressed. I'm also surprised and impressed about how far out in front we are on hard difficulty. Like, keep that in mind. This is on hard. We slid to the edge of the track, which they're probably not going to be very forgiving on. Surprisingly enough, we braked a little early that time. That corner, we, we were having so much trouble with breaking too late. Oh, 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 dear. There you go. Not bad. That last cornering section was pretty pretty dang smooth, actually. Love how we got on the, like, the, the subject of Pokemon halfway through a Rallycross race, too. Let's see what we have to repair. Oops. Never mind. Well, we can forget about that, because we are going now! Hitting that joker lap. The car behind has gone into the hey! Hey! Whoa! Whoa! Not cool, bro. Not cool. Okay, we're gonna have to work our way back up, because that, wow, that was dirty. Good grief. Reno used spin. Ford is now angry. God, this episode is going to be nothing more than like a bunch of Pokemon references, isn't it? <laughs> I'm just feeling that that's going to be the outcome in the end. Oh, that was really bad. Slid wide with understeer. We're gonna have to make up a good bit of distance though because we lost a lot of time getting spun out like that. 
I just can't let myself kind of lose my cool, you know? Because once you lose your cool, you've lost the race. Power out of it, power out of it! Dang, they got a little bit of a better line than I did. That's not bad, though. That's really good. Oh, 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 oh. Nope, that's gonna run wide. No, not, well, eh, not that wide, but it did cost us a little bit of time. Your left rear tire is punctured. Punctured, but not blown. It'll buff out, we'll fix it later. That's, that is making the handling of the car a li oh crap, it is blown now. Nope, nope. You're down to the rim on your left rear wheel. Yeah, I'm down to the wheel now. Oh, I'm thinking about restarting. I'm thinking about restarting, but I don't want to. God, I don't want to restart. I, you know what? You know what? We'll just we'll limp to the finish for this one. We'll limp to the finish because we're so close, and I don't want this to have to, you know, to constitute, like, a bunch of extra restarts. Wow. I'm surprised we're still driving. Yeah, don't hit walls. That's my advice. Oh! We've gone. Don't hit walls. It'll cause tires to blow and bad things to happen. And you'll be mad. We were going so well, too. I mean, this race, I think, got off to a bad start in general just, just after that freaking French dude, like, spun us out. My apologies if, if to my French viewers that are watching right now, but that driver was a little bit of a jerk. And yes, I get that he was AI. I'm not picking at the French, I promise. I get that he was AI. But still, it's slightly frustrating. Oh, dear. Yeah, that's gonna need a lot of repairs now. A lot of repairs. Way in the back. But we're only down to third right now, so we're okay. Let's see, continue. 